For this half hour, Governor Newsom has pulled the emergency break and imposed stronger coronavirus restrictions across the state. And now it's forcing 90% of California back to the most restrictive tier as new cases skyrocket. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom is live at LAX this morning with a look at the effort to slow this spread. Cara, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Even bigger worries as we head into the holidays. Angelinos being urged to celebrate with their immediate families at home. And the governor calling on anyone coming into California from out of the state to quarantine for 14 days. Here at LAX, a COVID-19 testing program, pilot program, is being launched today. The nasal swab test will be offered for $150 with test results coming back within 24 hours. The goal to help people who choose to travel going to destinations where they will need a negative test to avoid quarantining. All right, let's give you a closer look at what's happening across the state. 41 counties are back in California's most restrictive tier of purple. Ventura and Orange counties just joined the list, meaning businesses like restaurants are going to have to operate outdoors. Right now, 3,852 people are hospitalized statewide. That is up 48% from two weeks ago. And the percentage of people testing positive is 5%, which is doubled from a month ago. The governor says the state is assessing the possibility of putting a curfew in place, and the L.A. County Board of Supervisors is also weighing that idea. The county's top health official says the virus's spread simply needs to be slowed. If we continue on a path that is bound to overwhelm our health care system, you know, we'd have to put back on the table the possibility of safer at home. But we're not there yet. We're using this sledgehammer of shutting down counties, shutting down regions, all, you know, with this same universal approach. That's UCLA epidemiologist Dr. Jeffrey Klausner. He maintains instead of going to widespread restrictions, the state needs to prove through contact tracing why businesses should be shut down and says the necessary data for that should be collected at the time of testing. So back here live, lots of different thoughts on how to slow the spread of this virus. Here at LAX, uh, Suzanne, what we're going to see is a pilot program being launched today with LAX officials saying they're hoping to expand this in early December and have a rapid on-site testing lab. Oh, love the progress, Cara. Thank you.